Imagine not being able to afford an avocado. Maybe you're in that position right now. And you know, if you watched my last video that my road to entrepreneurship has been fairly twisty turny, which is why I've committed myself to helping you get there a lot faster. And why I'm so excited to share this story with you today because it starts with not being able to afford an avocado and you will not believe where it ends up. Hi, Jeffrey. <laughs> Meet Jeffrey. So Jeffrey and I met about a year ago, and this is what his life looked like then. That was one of the lowest point of my life, I think. When I first met you, we had a bit of runway. I think we had about 10K left. At that point in time, I already actually already quit my job for two years. And I thought I would make money sooner than that, but I didn't. I remember spending a lot of times in my office just sitting down on my floor and just weeping because one, I wanted to do this because I wanted to prove to somebody that I could do it. But when the runway was running out, I was realizing, oh, maybe I cannot do this. Um, and I also didn't see a way out. I didn't see, for example, YouTube growing that fast for me. I didn't see any of the Facebook outreach working for me. I got shut down from Facebook because of my niche. So in terms of avenues of how I could grow this business, I was seeing nothing. And so I was pretty dead set that maybe I had to give this up um, because I was out of runway. Yeah, and we were to the point where we couldn't even buy a latte. <laughs> we couldn't even buy, like, we would go to the grocery store, we would look at the avocado, and we say, one day we'll buy the avocado. At that time, Jeffrey had no subscribers, no following, no business, but he had a story. This is really a personal story of mine. So growing up, and my parents know this, and if they're watching it, they, they're okay with this, but growing up, I grew up in a very traditional home and I think that relationship aspect, especially the romantic relationship side, was something that we were finding very challenging. Growing up in college, when I first started dating, having my first relationships, I was miserable. Mm -hmm. And I think I made whoever I was with miserable too. And yeah, so it just became kind of an obsession to understand how come I'm struggling so much in this part of my life. Uh, from there, it kind of blossomed into more of an obsession to start into a business to showcase what I learned, showcase what has worked for me, what has not worked for me, kind of going against even what a lot of therapists and a lot of other coaches are talking about to really believe in my own kind of philosophies on this, I guess. Yeah, I guess the passion has been there. I, I guess the past experiences created the passion, I guess, the past pains. So how do you turn past pain into a business that can transform people's lives? Well, that's when Jeffrey and I started working together in my Authority Accelerator program, and we packaged his experience into an online course. And pretty quickly, Jeffrey got his first client and then another client and then another client. And he was getting all of these amazing testimonials. And he was helping men save their relationships and save their marriages. But then life happens. Emergency medical bills came up. Jeffrey had to go back into debt and he had to go back and get a full-time job. But something pretty incredible happened shortly after. So Jeffrey sent this update and he said, I had to pivot myself around. It gave up my coaching practice to get a job for a little bit, it's about three months, as it wasn't bringing me consistent cash flow to pay off the debts. When I stopped making the videos, I was at about 100 subscribers, but those videos I made were still racking in new views and subscribers. Now I'm at 450 plus subscribers and I'm getting about $3,000 in sales per month from it. Not much, but definitely helps lighten the load a little bit. Can't wait to get back to being debt free and following my dreams full force with this incredible community. So this is in February, shortly after, in April, with just 700 subscribers, Jeffrey had a $10,000 month. The next update in May, I'm in disbelief at how quickly life can change. I had a 10K week so far this week, two more calls tomorrow and nine calls already booked for next week. It gets better. June 1st, he shared his May update and he generated $29,000 in revenue, $15,000 in cash collected, which means that some people went on a payment plan and so therefore the total revenue is 29,000, the actual cash in hand is 15,000. Next month, $32,000 in revenue. The next month in August or in July, $38,000 in revenue. The month of August, Jeffrey did $42,000 in revenue. And with just 4,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel, Jeffrey hasn't even turned on ads. He's not even monetizing his channel at all. And he's gone from zero 12 months ago to this. So this year alone, up to this year, we've earned uh, 220K in revenues. Um, in the last six months, we've had close to like 130K in cash collected itself. Yeah, so to say it's drastically changed is an understatement, I think. <laughs> How do you feel? 
It's a bit surreal. I think my mindset, my mental state is still catching up. Sometimes I look at the money that we are earning and I'm not able to grasp just how much money that is. I still have the old one where I look at an avocado still and go, oh, I can't buy that. <laughs> I shouldn't buy that. But then I realized I can. All the avocado money. <laughs> He can buy all the avocados he's ever dreamed of. <laughs> Such a great story. And the best part for me about talking to Jeffrey is that he said that his business has actually gotten easier and he has more time since it's grown in revenue. And when I landed in the hospital with burnout a couple years ago, that was my turning point. And I was on a mission to change the way business was done, to elevate your income, your impact, and your authority without destroying yourself, your relationships, or your health in the process. Are you with me? Click the link below this video to learn more about how I can help you. Watch this video next on how I failed my way to $10 million. If you like this video, like it, be sure to subscribe and share it with somebody who needs to hear it. I'll see you in the next one.